Hey guys, it's John here, and welcome back inside my toy room. We got something really cool today. Netflix Transformers War for Cybertron. It is the spoiler box. <gasps> what could be inside? What's inside? I don't know. I don't know. Look, guess we'll find out in a few minutes. Because first, we're going to talk about the action figure cave. Michael with his two sons, Patrick and Dylan. These guys are really, really cool. I love them. They're awesome. The videos are great. It's fantastic that a father is doing this with his two sons. Bring it on, collecting, keeping the passion alive for the next generation. These guys, I can't, I mean, they're just so cool. I can't say enough about them. So let's take a look at the box here. The War for Cybertron. It's a Netflix series, Star Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy. Transformers War for Cybertron. Spoilers inside. This is the spoiler box. Compound net weight. What? What compound? 8 plus Hasbro Transformers. Takara Tomy. Side of the box says spoilers. What? Spoilers inside? What do you mean? What's going on? <laughs> Energon sort of seeping through at different areas. Looks like that's a picture of Ultra Magnus there on the side. Huh. Hint, hint. We got a fake handle on the top of the box. This is like a carry case. It holds something secret, something special. Here's the barcode for you in case you guys want it. I think this is a cool idea. It's a neat thing to do, you know, for the series. Sort of open it up and get you in the mood to watch it. Still no idea when this is actually coming out on television. Bullet holes in it. Spoiler inside, Energon seeping through. We go into the fine print here and we see that it has the contents of the box. Includes two figures, compound, there's that word again, three Energon cubes, accessories, and instructions. And then you go down here and it says contains wheat. What? What the heck? And then over here, not intended to be eaten. I'm confused. Why? Why is there a compound that contains wheat that's not supposed to be eaten inside this box? It makes no sense to me. This is ridiculous. Let's pop this thing open and find out what's going on. So the lid rotates out like that and we see this little clear thing with black something in it. And then this part opens up and we see more box pieces. Okay, so this must be the compound. It is a black substance just kind of in this cellophane cup. Hmm. Is it pudding? Do we get pudding? <laughs> well, slide this little cardboard box part out. And we have Ultra Magnus sitting in there backwards. We're going to fold these things up, get it out of the way. And we got Ultra Magnus sitting there backwards in the box pretty cool got a couple weapons all these big weapons on the side cool guy ultra magnus yeah some energon laser beam things and that guy's really cool looking. I like the clear red Autobot dude. He's pretty cool. What was his name again? He's got a name. He's got a name. He's the cool guy. He is Battlefield Rung. So it's Rung, but maybe a Battlefield version of Rung. Battlefield Rung. Autobot. Rung. A couple pieces of... Uh, you know, your warning labels and everything. Here's the back of the packaging, the backdrop that's in there. There is no piece for the, um, this was literally put in with t box tape. It's literally stuck together with box tape. So after getting all the box tape off of my packaging, I now have this, this piece that can come out and we can look at the the compound, the black compound. And this has to be where the Energon cubes are. That is the sucky thing. What's this little date stamp thing? Made in, yeah, huh. So this is the sucky thing. If you just want to get the Energon, you've got to open this up. That is my suspicion. It's inside here. And that's kind of lame because I would much rather not ever touch this stuff. 
Um, I'd much rather leave it in here sealed by the factory and keep my packaging complete, but I'm forced to open this up if I want the Energon cubes because I suspect they're hidden inside this goo. Hmm. Yep. It's goo. It's like Play-Doh. It feels like Play-Doh. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely feels like Play-Doh. So buried in here, we're going to have to dig this out. This is kind of gross. Oh, it comes in two halves. Okay, it's two pieces. And there's a baggie down there. That baggie's going to have the Energon cubes in it. Okay. So at least they're in a bag and they don't get all mucked up by the... Look at that bag, man. That would really have upset me if they were not in a bag because that's covered in black stuff. It's just covered in it. Ooh. Yep, smells like Play-Doh. I just smelled it. it. Smells exactly the same as Play-Doh. This absolutely is just black Play-Doh. Yeah, absolutely. Smells like Play-Doh, feels like Play-Doh. It's just black Play-Doh. That's really all it is, black Play-Doh. Yeah, try to mush it back into a square shape and we'll put it back in here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, whatever. So that's going to turn rock hard in a few years and be totally ruined. <laughs> I didn't want to leave the box tape on there because it's like, you guys know as well as I do that in 30 years from now, that box tape is going to turn yellow. It's going to be gross. Here's the Energon cubes out of the bag. They are a squishy rubber. They are not a hard plastic, which kind of bothers me because now every little fingerprint, every little thing that I've done to touch them has mucked them up and they are no longer like super clear. They're kind of faded looking. I wish they were like a clear acrylic or something like that. Like a, a pink acrylic would have been cooler, but they went for rubber for some reason. This guy is really cool. Rung, I think Rung takes the I mean, he takes the packaging. It takes the, whatever you call it. What do you, it takes the gold. This is the thing for this set that is the best out of it, I think. Look at him. He's fantastic. His arms move. His legs move. He's even got a waist twist. Look at this. Oh my gosh, his waist even twists. For a mini bot, that's pretty cool. Yeah. He kind of transforms by just popping his legs together. Pull this up. Fold his arms into these little slots here. Dunk. And you do 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 do. Dunk. And he becomes a weapon. Dan arrow. Make sure his legs are pinned together, right? Dan and arrow. Weapon. Yeah. Becomes a weapon. Not a bad gun either. I mean, he really. It's one of the guns that doesn't look like a robot when he's in gun mode you know what i mean like <laughs> which i like i like when you know if it's a weapon master guy because he's a battlefield master you know but if he's he's supposed to turn into a weapon i like it when they look like a weapon and not a robot it's not like a, a robot who just bent over you know and he's kissing his butt and now he's a gun you get these two giant blasters they look mean as heck man look how mean they look these things are awesome these blasters are really cool, but the downfall is on the other side, they're hollow. Like, why? Why can't they be solid on the other side? Like, why do they have that hollow part? Why can't it look like that on both sides? I don't get it. What's the problem? You know, they're, it's not like they clip together and form one gun. They should, but they don't. <laughs> so it makes no sense to me. I mean, they're pretty much both identical and they don't... <sighs> mm. Why? Why do they do this? So it's half cool. But the energy thing, the blast, can fit in this gun as, as well. So if you want to use energy blast in there, you can do that. This whole line of War for Cybertron stuff is all about having these energy blasts and weaponizer things. The barrel to this gun's pretty cool, but the rest of it... Again, why do they have all these hollow pieces? Why can't it just be a solid gun? Like... <sighs> 
I don't get this stuff in the back here. What is all this? Why? <laughs> I really don't like. I mean, half the weapons on these line on this these last few lines, half the weapons have just been terrible. I don't understand why. It's been that way since Titans and um, Titans Return, Combiner Wars, all the way up till now. The weapons have been the downfall. They've been the part that's lacking in these Transformers. These guns go on the sides, up on the shoulders there where I pointed earlier. And again, they're hollow on one side, but good looking on the other. And these, maybe you don't need them as so much because the way they clip on, you don't really see the hollow bits as much. So maybe you don't need these to be double-sided, but I don't know. Ultra Magnus himself looks pretty cool in this robot mode. He's not bad in this mode. Um, he, he doesn't have hands that open up, though. Coming with... with, with uh, if Since he comes with... Um, Energon cubes, you, you really kind of want him to be able to hold on to him. His face looks great. I really like this head sculpt. Just zoom in there on it. You got the blue eyes. Nice face. Good looking Ultra Magnus. His little backpack thing on the back. I guess it looks chunky. It looks armored. So it's not too bad. Kind of fits with the character. So, you know, like he's chunky all the way around. So he looks like a big armored version. And here he is compared to the Combiner Wars slash Titans Return, that series, Headmasters, all that stuff. That series of figures, here's the Ultra Magnus that came with them. And his hand do move. This is what I was talking about. Why not do this with the, the new Ultra Magnus? And uh, I know this one's a lot taller, a lot bigger. I kind of prefer it. I mean, I'm looking at the head sculpt now on this one. and I mean, it's, it's very close. It's very much... Very similar, but I like the tallness of the old one. I like the the way the feet are, the legs, the, the hands, the arms. The guns on the side of him there look more like the cartoon. I think in my display, I'm going to keep the old one. I'm going to keep this one in my display because that's the Ultra Magnus that looks like Ultra Magnus to me. This new one, although looks good... You know, look at that. He can hold on to the to the cube, so he's gonna hold on to the cube in my display. This one's getting the the getting. This one is getting the energon cubes for my display. And this guy, look at him. He can't hold on to him. What do you do? Stick the corner in there? Well, you gotta move the arm up. You gotta like, this has to come up, and then you gotta be like, I'm gonna balance it here and be like, oh, I'm pretending that he's hanging on to it, but he's not really hanging on to it. <laughs> ugh. Ugh. Yeah, the old one is the one that's going to stay in my display, and he's going to hang on to the Energon Cube. All right, let's take a look at this guy's articulation. He's got some head bob. He's got some turn. He can turn 360s. You know, good articulation there for the head. he got some good arm rotation here, and you got out, and you've got a rotation there at the elbow, and you got a bend. A bend at the elbow, if I can do this right here. Oop, the armor fell off. Sorry. One second clip. Yeah, it's just armor that's attached to a white guy. He's got the uh, rotation at the hip. And, yeah, all this stuff. Elbow bend, elbow twist. Arms move. The legs move out. And they can move forward and back. They can't move back too far because of the way the armor hits. And the knees don't really bend in this mode because of the way the armor hits these wheels. So you don't have... A full range of motion for the legs. You do have some twist here in a couple different spots. The feet, oh, the armor fell off. Um, the feet do have a, a uh, yeah, see, there you go. You can do this so that you can angle him a little bit when you're posing him. So you can pose him pretty well, even with the hindrance in the legs. <clears throat> Let's start the transformation here. So we're gonna pop these. We're gonna pop all the armor off all the way around, and then the armor pieces here. They're telling us in preparation we want to open them up. Um, not from this side. From this side. Yeah, this is the part we want to open this part up. So we'll do that, and we'll pop this one off, and we'll do that. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll set those aside. And then we're going to move his arms out. We're going to get these, the armor pieces off where his hands are. And these just kind of slide off. They're kind of stuck on there, though. So you got to kind of finagle it. Get it off. There we go. <laughs> and leave them open for now. I don't know if they're going to need them open or... They just have you setting these things all aside for now. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to take... Look at him. Oh, Ultra Magnus. The top here, this thing will unclip. It'll unclip from the back. All right. How's this work? There we go. Unclip. And then... There's the front of the truck. Look at that. Oh, this folds down too. Okay. So we got this unclipped, we got the front of the truck, we're popping it off the top there, and then we have to get it off his back somehow. We got this, why is it not coming off? Hmm, it's not, things are opening up, but it's not coming off. Come off, doo doo. The first time you do this, you don't wanna break it. Okay, you just slide it off this this rail here. There we go, There's the rail connects to those clips. You just kinda gotta slide it off and pop it off there, okay. And then we got the leg parts. These, well, like we just did earlier, we accidentally popped it off, but now we're going to do it on purpose. And of course it's not coming as easy. So we unclip those, unclip those, and we have pretty much the white. This head has to come up, right? Let's see how this has had to come up. It's not gonna, something's gotta, something's gotta move here. We're gonna have to, hmm. Okay, okay, I see. So pull this pull this down, get it out of the way. And rotate it around. You got that. But you want to pull this down. Pop these arms out so that they're not holding the chest piece. And then pull this down. There we go. And you gotta pull the head up. Eh. And then you can clip it back in. Eh. And you want to pop the arms back into place and this actually slides let me see it slides back or something hold on sorry <laughs> this is complicated it slides forward and this backpack slides up so there we go there we go and then you can kind of push him back into position there we go pop the arms in so they're lo everything locked into position and put that up with the gray side out there we go so now we have the white version of, like, you know, I guess you'd say naked, naked Ultra Magnus. White version of Optimus Prime. Naked Ultra Magnus. And, all right, um, what next here? I guess we're going to work on part of the trailer. Yeah, let's get this part of the trailer out. So we got these pieces here which were the upper pieces, the shoulder parts of Ultra Magnus. And we're gonna make them go straight like that. And then they're going to clip together there and there. So you'll see these clips here, bink. And now you've got this straight piece like that. It looks like the shoulders and those things just kind of clip together. And then you set that aside. And then what you gotta do is take the arm pieces and actually reclose them. So just keep them closed. Got to get both of them here. Close it. Yep. And then you want to take the chest piece part with the head. It usually shows up like this. See so what you want to do is unfold everything. There is a. Well, let's see. There's supposed to be a part here that unfolds. So this unfolds, and you've got. Yeah, that unfolding. Yeah, okay, so it was like that. There we go. And then this was the front, and here's the part that unfolds. Okay. It's not 100% clear in the instructions how this stuff all works. So there we go. We want to get it totally flat, all out like that with the head kind of just sitting there in the middle. And then these things are going to clip on in here. There's a hole there, and they go on that peg. 
So clip them on like that. And then same thing with this. Make sure they're straight, lined up, all that stuff. There you go. Okay, and then we have the leg pieces, the leg armor. Okay, so the leg armor, it says to open it up. Open them up. Oh, I see, they're turned around. Sorry, they're turned around. So open them up from the back. I'm getting off camera, I'm sorry. There we go. All right, so sorry about that. I'll show you this more clearly. Open them up from the back and then unfold and unfold. There we go. So you got like all these extra unfolding parts. And then, yeah, okay. So that's going to be the wheels and the outside of the trailer. Get that? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like there's just feet sitting there. I don't want the feet sitting there just like... There's going to be parts of this robot just in view. It just it doesn't make sense to me. All right, so you're gonna take this back piece, and I mean, let me show you this on the instructions. This is like, this is ridiculous. This is a little bit. This makes this a little bit makes no sense. Okay, so here's no step number ten, where it's just suddenly together, and here's step number nine: unfold the leg armor, and then number ten, they're magically together at these snap points. Um, what? I'm <laughs> like, what? What are you talking about? This. Th <laughs> so, <laughs> I was doing a lot of finagling and working around off camera until I figured out that if you leave this at a 90 degree angle, these two pieces, fold them out. Fold the, bl the blue trailer parts against the leg, and then these red tabs and these blue tabs all have to go in here. So red tab is going into a hole there. Red tab is going into the foot part there. Blue tab is going on this little gray piece here. And then these blue pieces all connect together there. So get this blue piece tabbed onto this gray part right there. And then get the red pieces tabbed in the back there and there. And then this part pitch together with your fingers, boonk, and it'll stay together. And that's kind of what you want to do. And that slides over that. So you've got this part, this part, the tabs, red tab, red tab. Okay? And this just leave open, those two. And now come back to the other side, and again, you're going to flatten it out, and you're going to put the red tab and red tab in. Just kind of slide them together, red tab there, red tab there, slide them together, and then fold it down, and you're going to put this, leave it out at a 90 degree angle, put this blue tab over the gray, and these blue tabs into those blue tabs. The instructions did not tell you to do any of this, it just magically made you think that they just go together nice. And it, it doesn't. And it doesn't make it look like that's the top, like that this flat part is the top of the truck. The whole time you're sitting here thinking that's the bed of the truck, not the top. And then suddenly it's the top. I don't know. So here's our, we'll go back to the white Optimus, the Ultra Magnus naked. We're going to take a look at him real quick, a 360. The head looks really good. I like this. This robot mode is pretty cool on this one. It's a nice alt white Ultra Magnus, white Optimus Prime sort of alt mode, robot mode. You know, I think he looks pretty cool. He's got red eyes, the blue, the white. Yeah, he looks pretty good. We'll do a couple 360s, put the gun in his hand. This is an oversized gun for him, I think, but it's the gun they recommend. 
It's got this nifty blue, like, backpack. The lights on it make it look like they're sort of radiator-type things that are keeping them cool. Some kind of fans or something. Yeah. Some kind of fans or something. <laughs> you know. Sorry this is another long video, but this guy's pretty complex. He's got a lot to him, a lot of different modes. We gotta show it all. So... We're going for another long video. Sometimes Transformers, you just have to do five million year long videos just to show all the different features and modes that they have. I suppose if you really wanted to, some of you could skip the transforming parts and just skip ahead and look at the figures in each different mode, you know? So we got, we're going to transform him into, his, into the truck. So we're going to slide this down, put the arms at a 90 degree angle. Slide this down, spin him around, and then you're going to push him forward. He's going to, if I understand right, he's going to push forward. Yeah. You got to unclip the arms here. And they're going to slide into the back. There's a peg here that they'll go into. There, see how it pegs in? Yeah. And... Hmm, hold on a second, what did I do? Oh yeah, I forgot to slide it forward. I was talking about it and I didn't do it. There you go. There you go. So get this back there so it's behind the smokestacks. And slide the cab forward. There we go. And then... We're going to... I think we're going to open the cab again and put the head inside. And... Yeah, it just kind of pops. Push it all the way forward. It pops open. Pull the head down. Close it back up. And you've got the cab to the truck. And then we're going to turn the hands so the gray part is up. So it looks like it's, you know, from the top it looks flat gray all the way along. And then these legs are just going to, yeah, they're just going to fold up. And form the, cat, the back of the truck. That's it. And they tab together. There's a white tab that goes into a gray slot. Tab them together. And... The hands just kind of float there, yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. There's the the feet. When this was in, when he was in robot mode, I was supposed to flip these out for stabilizing the feet. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. So just so you know, now you know they're there. Yeah. <laughs> um, would have made them stand up easier, you know. So these hands. Wow, this whole thing is a little wonky. It's like at an angle, like a weird angle. I gotta. I'm going to try to adjust this. Wow, this just looks strange to me. This doesn't look... Yeah, it's right. That's how it goes. I just... It doesn't look like the cab of a truck. I mean, look at this. There's this huge gap. The hands are just sitting there. There's this giant gap there. I mean, what the heck? The legs don't line up straight. Things are off at a weird angles. It's just not a good cab to a truck it just looks like a robot laying down with his arms behind him the smoke stacks are different colors i mean it's just got this big gap things look like they're he looks like he's arched almost like his yeah, i don't know this just doesn't look at him he looks like a robot just laying down like he like he lay he literally just the robot just laid down. You can see his legs, arms, everything. <laughs> it's just kind of... Wow. Alright, I guess th what this is, is this is not intended to be viewed as cab mode. You have to put it... you got to put this on the, tra on the, the, tra the trailer. Because the trailer is going to cover all this up. So... Yeah, this is not intended to be used in just this this way. So let's put the cab on. So make sure those are still attached. There's this little part here. This is the this is the shoulders again, remember? 
So we're going to take these shoulders and we're going to slide that slot into that. So they're going to just slide right in like that. And if they come apart, just make sure you squeeze it all back together. And they're just going to go like that. Okay. So we're extending the back part of the truck, the cab here. We're extending that part. And then these, let's see, you're going to want to open these 90 degrees and what we're going to do is this stuff is going to tab in up on the top here somehow. And no, it's not the bed again. We keep thinking that's the bed of the truck, but it's not. So is it going to go on that way? It just shows you like the instructions again, just show it suddenly attached. They don't show how this clips on exactly. Okay. I see what's going on. So what I would do is I'd put this up at a 90 degree angle, those up at a 90 degree angle, and then these is where the first connection is going to be. So there are these round sort of tab holes right by the wheels. I'm trying to adjust the light so you can see them. They, they're there, those kind of hole things. Right in there, you're going to get the back of the cab down by the feet. The thing, the, the part that we just attached the shoulder part that we just attached to it it's going to go right in here so these these little holes that are on the back there these or these these pins these round pins are going to tab into these holes there see pop you see how that popped in there and then we come around to the other side and make sure we line this up and pop that in there too pop that in there Make sure it doesn't fall apart because it's going to fall apart in the legs here. They're starting to come apart on me. So squish it all back together. And now there's these clips here. And when this folds, it's going to go into those clips. So you're going to fold that in to these clips here. This is just not, nothing's lining up right. Okay, hold on. Let's try this side maybe. Get this clip on. There we go. We got that clip and now this one doesn't line up right. Okay, so let's see. Let's stretch it out. <laughs> Make it work. Clip. Okay. And then we have this door and the top here. Now the top's not going down because the hands are in the way. All right, hold on a second. We got to... So what you... Okay, what you're going to do is put this down first so the hands are out of the way. They're not in your way. Then clip this in sorry hold on clip okay and then clip this side in clip okay and then so those are clipped in and now these are going to tab in up here there's this little part i don't know if you can see it but it's going to tab in there and again you're going to tab this side in and press it all together so it's really tight there and now you've got a truck that looks like it's going up and then down it just it looks like a freaking 30 degree angle or something it's weird <laughs> it doesn't make sense Ugh. this is not i don't know first off it's the instructions aren't clear it's not it's a little bit complicated to put into truck mode the instructions are not clear and the truck mode does not look like a truck this does not look like a semi these wheels are not touching the ground the front wheel is and the back wheel is but the other wheels are <laughs> Not touching the ground and we've got this weird upwards motion that the trailer takes it almost looks like a freight car on a on a uh, on a, a train more than a truck it's supposed to be like a car carrier type truck and it doesn't look like it they suggest you put all the weapons on as such the shoulder things back there the big gun the dude you got the massive weapons going down the side here and still, it looks like a train car to me. It doesn't look like a a semi-truck. It looks like a train car. I don't know about this, guys. I'm not... I'm not 100% happy with this one, I gotta tell you. I like the packaging. I like the robot modes. Both robot modes were cool. But this truck mode... I did not enjoy the transformation. I don't like the way he transforms. And I don't like this truck mode. I just don't. 
I I don't know what they were thinking. This is not a fun toy <laughs> in this mode. I guess you're better off just leaving this guy in robot mode all the way around because you never really want to transform him. <laughs> oh. At least that's my opinion anyway. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like that truck mode? Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. So I'm going to pop on all the weapons here and, and we'll go back. We're back in robot mode. We're back in my favorite mode. This guy here is my favorite part of this whole set. Um, Rung. Rung is the best part to me. And having the Energon cubes. Rung and the Energon cubes. Those are the highlight of the set. I like those the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the compound, and I don't need the, tr the truck mode for this guy. But putting all the weapons on, he looks badass. He's going to, like, come out and kick some butt, kill some Decepticons, crush him. Look at all those weapons. Doom, 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 doom. Pretty neat there. So, yeah, this guy's strength is in his robot modes, um, both the white, naked naked ultra magnus and the armored up ultra magnus are are all right they're decent you know but the truck mode i just don't like it yeah so that's where this kind of falls short how you transform them from robot to truck and then the actual truck mode itself those kind of fail for me but this robot mode isn't that bad you know look at those guns i mean he looks good with those big guns on yeah Look at those guns, man. He's got some guns. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you like him in truck mode? Is it just me? Am I crazy? All right. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll appreciate it. We got more stuff coming down the road here. You guys looking forward to watching Transformers? You going to watch this show on Netflix? I totally am. I can't wait for it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. I want to mention the Patreon again. If you head on over, look down in the description below. You'll find links to everything. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're starting that Patreon back up. Got a few people who really wanted to join. So we've started it back up. And, yeah, any more followers there would be great. We got some exclusive content up there, like a room tour, and um, you get videos early, things like that, you know. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you tomorrow, next time. All right, see you.